in the last class we had seen that when we tr when we insert a material inside the inside the solenoid the resultant field is the superposition of the field that would have been there if there was nothing inside and and that nothing i call vacuum okay so if if it was all vacuum whatever field b not was present there plus the kind of field that the material itself produces so we started with the premise that b is equal to b not plus b m okay b not plus b m we understand now now we said that somehow it all became mu not into 1 plus chi into h is it not it became that now now what happened so if i talk magnitude wise 1 plus chi h and this became equal to mu not this whole was 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 mu r is it not this whole v termed mu r and this remained h so mu not mu r h and and this is what we call relative per me ability magnetism it will be permeability electrostatics permittivity fine now we if you if you see it if you if you understand if there was nothing our field was b is equal to mu naught into h so it is this factor that modifies this mu r the relative permeability factor which modifies the magnetic field do we understand that it is the it is the it is this mu r factor which actually modifies the magnetic field correct no that, that's what that's what we'll discuss and this mu r is equal to 1 plus chi is it not so so that that understanding has to come first so it is 1 plus chi where chi was where chi was susceptibility magnetic susceptibility is it not chi is is magnetic susceptibility magnetic magnetic susceptibility because there is also susceptibility because there is also an electric susceptibility electrical susceptibility the same thing will happen with the dipoles of of an electric field and, and absolute parallels correct so if you understand that you understand that or if you have understood this you understand this pretty simple pretty simple to understand okay now what happens so this mu r is equal to 1 plus chi fine now if chi is a small negative value so 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 let us tabulate depending on chi i have my mu r and depending on that i have i have the nature of the material or or, or i should say property of the material now what happens if chi if chi is a very small negative quantity hmm? it is small negative so what happens what happens to mu r if it's a very small negative quantity say minus 0 0.001 
so it becomes 0 0.999 so it becomes my mu r so my mu r what happens to my mu r my mu r yeah it is it is greater than 0 but is less than 1 <coughs> okay I'll say what happens to the magnetic field. What do you think will happen to B? It will become slightly less than what it would have been had there been C. See, it's quite simple. It, this, this would have been in vacuum. Now you multiplied it by a number that is smaller than 1. So say 0.998. So what happens? It becomes lesser than that. So in a sense, the material opposes the magnetic field that was already there that's how it will be able to reduce it mm -hmm. correct so 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 what happens to b b becomes slightly less than b not is it not okay so, so property of material, property of material, what is the property of the material? The material in this case is known as dia, diamagnetic, it is known as diamagnetic that is the material the material opposes the <coughs> already present the already present magnetic field fine that is B naught that's what I'm trying to say. B naught. Correct? Correct? Now, if it is small positive, if it is small positive then you see what happens to what happens to mu r it becomes slightly less than 1 so mu r becomes greater than 1 what is b it is slightly more than b naught the material is called paramagnetic that is the material the material supports is it not it adds to that it supports the already present magnetic field B naught correct simple If it is large positive, then R mu R becomes very, very greater than 1. Here it is considerably more than B naught. 
considerably more than B naught. And what happens? The material is called ferromagnetic. Ferromagnetic. So here it is called diamagnetic. Here it is called paramagnetic. Here it is called ferromagnetic. Okay, here it is called ferromagnetic. The material supports, supports or creates a magnetic field. Okay, the, the material, the material cre supports the already present magnetic field B naught. We understand. Now the mechanism by which this happens that keeps on changing. Okay? That keeps on changing but this is the overall impact the, the uh, mostly or broadly the materials can be can be divided into these three parts there are more ferromagnetism anti ferromagnetism and so many things that keep on going on right now now example of diamagnetic materials is 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 bismuth diamond it is if i if i write an example then it is bismuth gold okay diamond diamond okay silver so so you can say the precious metals are all that's how you can remember, right? If I come to, if I come to paramagnetism, aluminum, calcium, lithium, magnesium, oxygen, platinum, okay? So, platinum, oxygen, okay? Oxygen. What else? Aluminum. Huh? Calcium. Calcium. Sure. Ferromagnetic? Iron. Oh, ferrous, okay. So iron. Iron is a ferromagnetic material. And and we'll see the usage. Okay? It is a big, big, big advantage. It's fine. 